Good morning everyone. I'm off for another hunt today. Um, I haven't gotten out for a little while so I'm actually pretty pumped to get out. Uh, the conditions aren't ideal so it's coming up on high tide this morning. Uh, it is rising quite rapidly at the moment. The difference between high tide and low tide is pretty dramatic right now. Um, so a low tide hunt is out of the question and probably not going to do the waterline today though I will check out what it's like once I get out of the car. Um, so it'll be mostly dry sand. I'm actually tempted to try a little bit of land surrounding this particular area today. Um, that'll all be dependent on what I find on the beach itself. Um, but yeah, let's get out there. We'll see what we find. In keeping line with tradition, first target of the day. So this one's got hints of a 21, but then it's mostly minus two, minus three. Um, could be anything. It is dry sand. It's nice and easy to dig. So let's find out what it is. I uh, got a surface 16, 17. It's quite small. Could be a bubble cap. It's in that. <laughs> it's whatever this is. It's like part of an old metal pipe. That's all right, let's keep going. Here we see I've found the mystery item of the day, guys. Didn't turn it on. Um, it was a 20 down here. And I've pulled out this. It's quite solid. It feels as heavy as lead, like it is quite heavy. Um, don't really know what that is. I don't think it's a sinker, but it could be some sort of fancy sinker. I'm not sure. Let me know if you recognize it, guys. We'll keep on going. Out of the hole. 21-22. just in time because the water's catching up to me. There's a coin. Yes. Um, I had a guess I would have said a one cent piece, but yeah. I think yep, that's a one cent piece. Well, coin's a coin. Let's keep going. This one was minus two, minus four, a couple of high tones. Didn't turn you on because I'm a bit time limited for digging when I'm so close to the water. Just a junker. I thought I'd show you what I got. So, hip in. So these do tend to give off a little high tone, but um, generally speaking, they'll have grunts as well because they rust pretty quickly. It's all good. Let's keep going. Let's underneath this rock. Let's see where I've been scuffling about. That was a 26, 27, two cent piece. Um, I did clear out this particular crevice in a previous hunt um, where I found probably a dozen or more coins. Um, it hasn't refilled, unfortunately. I mean, these coins are not in circulation anymore, so these are not going to keep topping up, but I thought I might see if there was anything I missed, and sure enough, there was one. Let's keep going. Alrighty, guys, out of this hole here that absolutely stinks with sulfur. Rang up about a 10 thereabouts, a bit of a wacky number. Um, actually was a 20 cent piece, so I'd normally ring up around about a 16. Um, this type of sand really does change the numbers I've found. Um, and be thankful you can't smell it, because yeah, the sulphur smell right now is absolutely overbearing. Um, but I find cool stuff in this type of sand, so I'll keep poking around and see what I can find. The wacky signal in this crevice was in the low 20s. Nash was a two dollar coin. Cool. Right, here we've got a 29 to 31. Out there, let's dig. Oh, I've just gotten out of the hole. Now ringing a 29.30. Haven't seen what it is yet. Let's find it. Ooh, it's a coin. That's a good thing. Pretty much guaranteed to be pre decimal, which it is. What have we got here? I think that's Queen Elizabeth. Yes, it is. We've got a penny. 1957. In lovely condition, too. So 
This one, unlike a lot of my beach coin finds, might not need too much cleaning up. We'll see how we go. But I'll show you in the wrap up. Awesome. Let's get going. Shallow 11. There. Probably just a bottle. Um, sorry, a wrinkle. Not a bottle. It's cool. But let's see. Alright, it's out. It's still constant 11. And I can see something there. Yep. That is. Yeah, just a piece off the can. Aluminium. Awesome. Let's keep going. Got a strong 16 in a little bit of a cut. Could be rubbish. Could be old. Let's oh. see. The third option is that it could be old rubbish. <laughs> I didn't cover that one. That's okay. It's a sign of older things. Let's keep going. I think this may have actually come out the cliff. If I've got room, I'll get rid of that rubbish as well. You can actually see some old iron there, some old bricks. But this is what I wanted to show you. Just sticking out of the sand there. It's not super old because it's got a plastic lid. But what a cool looking little bottle. It actually looks like it's got something inside. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, could have been an old dropper. I'm really not sure on that one, guys. I think there might be a little bit of info on the bottle, so I'll try and do a little bit of research on this one. But I'd say it's been there a long time. So that's kind of cool. I'll add that one to my collection. Awesome. Let's keep going. Unusual one here. Pretty clear. 3334. Hmm. Don't particularly know what this one will be. It's out already, so it was nice and shallow. It's right there, but I can't see it. Must be small. Have a look. It's a coin. It's an old coin. Ooh, we got King George V. I think we might have ourselves a floor in here, guys. Oh, fantastic. This is actually my very first of the old style florins, so. I don't know whether you can, yeah, you probably can't see, but I'll point it out. Across the band here it says one florin, two shillings, and it is a 19, sorry, I'm just going to bring it up to my eyes for a sec, guys. 1923. Awesome. This has been on my bucket list. I've wanted an old style florin for the longest time. This one will be going straight in my coin album after a little bit of a clean up. I am absolutely stoked. I'm going to keep checking these cliff edges now, guys. Back's in. Out of that hole there, solid 17. Fairly deep, as you can see. Couple of scoops. 50 cent piece. Been there a while. Let's keep going. This one came in at a 10. Wasn't going to film it. Thought it might have just been a 5 cent. We have a tube of some sort. Now, with tubes, if you ever find one of these old tubes, don't rub it straight away with your hands you'll take the writing off straight away so I will when I take this home I'll try and give it a super gentle soak see if we can read some of this writing here um, I can see that it was something that was yeah marketed in New York London and Sydney um, something about adherence of powder um, smooth something or other hmm should be an interesting find if I can clean it up we'll see how we go I've got a 22, 23. There's a lot of rusty stuff around here, so it's very hard to get a clear signal of any sort. So as soon as I get something that's constant, I'm going for it. I've also got a bit of concrete in the area, which has got steel bars in it. it. Sets off plenty of false signals. You might notice as I'm digging here that the tone's getting higher. We're now hmm, 24, 25, could mean a can, 
could mean that we're actually onto an older coin. Might turn you off because someone's about to walk up to me. I'll show you what we got when we get out of the hole. 2728. So I probably needless to say, I'm a little bit excited. Anything high 20s and above is usually good if it's a clean tone. This is clay, so it could still be stuck in a big mound of clay. It's disappearing on me. Okay. That's definitely not a coin. <laughs> That's larger. What is that? Oh. Bit of an unusual one. That, um, that actually looks like some sort of door latch. You know, when you'd lift a bolt, move it across and then move it down again. Just as an initial guess. Could be part of a star picket. Who knows? We'll find out in the wrap-up. I'm scanning up alongside the edges as I go along. And 27.28. But when I go into pinpoint, what I'm noticing is that it's actually two points. There's one there and there's one there. So could be two separate coins. Um, the land here is old, so I'll have a bit of a look. Target number one acquired, definitely old. Um, it is a pre-decimal of some sort, I think. May even be a florin. I'm not really sure. I don't want to scratch it hard at the moment, so I'll clean it up when I get home. Still got one more target to go. The other one I'm going to have to leave. It's in there. Um, it is a bottle top. The reason why I know this is it's still attached to the bottle. <laughs> and I can't really get that bottle out without causing a lot of damage to the eroding cliff edge. So I really don't want to be that guy. I'm going to leave that one there for now and keep on going. 22 in the hole here. Dollar dollar. I'm not very good at coin popping yet guys so I won't typically turn you on for these ones yet. Still feel like I'm a little bit of a novice with uh, working the groundhog. Um, I'll keep practicing. I'm sure I'll get better over time but I've also got to make sure I'm treating the grounds with respect. So see how we go. Keep going. So here was a 21 super duper shallow. As you can see by me plonking it straight back in. Two bucks. Fantastic. Might make a little bit of money today. Not used to making money as a beach detectorist. Generally the coins I find are either really old or really worn. Awesome. Let's keep going. I'm making my way back to the car now along the beach. However, there are a few small paths that lead off the beach. This one's clearly not in use at the moment. <laughs> I've found a surface find, guys. Not what I would have expected to find, but Oh well, that's useful, at least. <laughs> Not sure how I'm going to carry that one home with me, but I'll take it. I don't think the owner's looking for it anymore, just quietly. Um, hmm, wonder what else I'll find in this spot. Welcome to the wrap up. This was a, a nice varied hunt for a change, um, dabbling with a little bit of land as well as a little bit of beach. It's not my usual style, but I quite enjoyed myself, so I think I might have to do that a little bit more often. Um, let's get rid of the junk first, shall we? There was a fair bit of junk. I've actually given it its own crate today. Um, bit of everything. Um, this Coke can here is actually from about the 70s or 80s, so it's old. Um, there was a spark plug right down at the water's edge. Um, don't really know why that would be down there, but that's cool. Um, just the usual kind of beach junk. Moving on, a uh, typical array of sinkers. This is also made of lead, but this has been a connector piece of some sort. Um, I originally thought a hose fitting when I saw it on its side. Uh, it is solid in the middle though. I just, I'm not really sure what that would have been used for. Uh, we've got what I believe to be a door latch. Um, that was found in soil and quite near an old building so it might have been the previous building that had been at that site i do know that that changed in roughly the 1950s so it could be cold could be cold could be old i know what i'm trying to say um random tag of some sort i don't know whether that would have been an animal tag or, or maybe a fire extinguisher tag don't know uh, nails washer um a really old bottle it is a plastic lid so it's not super duper old um, it could have been where some buildings used to be. Um, I believe what this one might actually be, if I can do this one-handed, 
I think this actually might have been um, applied wart remover. So the old wart treatments used to just have a solid stick in the middle. Notice there's no brush or anything on the end, um, which would be enough just to do a, a dropper of liquid, which you would then, even in the case of a wart, you would just apply directly um, and then pop it back in the jar. So not that exciting, but um, I think that's what that might be. Um, I'll get to this one shortly. I want to cover that one a little bit more. Um, the hammer. <laughs> Possibly one of my most random finds. I know I didn't technically detect that one. I, I just spotted that visually. But, um, yep, not something I expected to see on a hunt. Uh, some spendables and, and former spendables. So, we've got a couple of goldies here. 50 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, half of a 10 cent. 5 cents, 2 cents, 1 cent. Moving to the pre-decimals. We've got our 1957 penny here in lovely condition. I haven't given that any sort of a clean at this point, but I will probably just give it a, a gentle clean. Um, maybe not a tumble. I don't think it's going to need that. Um, my gorgeous old 1923 florin. So as I mentioned, this is the first one I've found in the older style. So on the edge there, it says one florin, two shillings. And then the year at the bottom, 1923. So this is 925 silver. They were like that till the mid 40s. And then they became like this one. So this is the florin I found that was covered in muck. Couldn't get a lot of detail off it. Well, would you believe it? Another 1947 for the collection. Uh, so that's several I've found now. Anyone who's watched my former videos uh, knows the run I've had with those. And most of the florins I've found have been that one year. So... Anyway, gave me a bit of a laugh. I have given that one a little bit of a tumble just so I can make out the detail. Um, and I'll probably hand clean it from there. Um, I just haven't decided which is going to be the best avenue for cleaning that beyond this stage. Um, drop a comment below if you've got a particular way you like to clean your silvers. I would like to know what everyone's doing with theirs. Um, which brings me to this final find. Um, this was a bit of a random one. I knew it was old when I saw it. So I've looked into it a little bit. The fragrance here, um, well, I should explain what it is. It's a vanishing cream. So it's basically a beauty cream. Three Flowers was the name of the fragrance. That fragrance came out in 1915. And I believe these um, offshoot products, so vanishing creams, face powders, that sort of thing, um, with that fragrance were marketed for decades after the perfume's release. So there you go. Don't think it's usable anymore. <laughs> Which brings me to the end. Thank you for joining me on this hunt. This was a really fun one and I hope to do a similar hunt like this again in the future. Um, I do have plenty more hunts coming your way. I'm actually behind three or four hunts now so I have heaps and heaps of footage to pump out for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any particular hunts you want to see me doing. Um, while I do have a few that are already lined up, I'd like to know what you'd like me doing beyond that as well. So, yeah, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe, all the cool things. Thanks for watching. See ya.